What's up, Hyperdrivers? Welcome back to the channel. Today, guys, I'm starting on a new quest, all right? New collectible quest is starting today, and I want to share it with you guys. If you guys have been following me from MCE, if you guys have been watching me here on the Hyperdrive, you guys have seen the wild stuff that has come into this house, the things that I've been able to collect, the things that I've been able to see between going to the cons and have, you know, here in the house. I've, I've seen huge statues, six scale figures, amazing pieces of art, props. I mean, I've seen some amazing stuff in these last, incredible stuff in these last five years of being on this channel. And what I want now though, is something that I can pass on to my kids, you know, once I'm gone. And one of the things that I, that I, that I see that I wanted to get into is the original Star Wars figures that I used to have when I was a kid. And maybe not just the ones that I used to have when I was a kid, but even the ones that I didn't have, right? Uh, I want to be able to acquire these. I want to either get them carded or loose. Preferably carded would be awesome. Uh, and obviously, it's going to be a very expensive and, and new, new, and new uncharted territory for me. And I think that's really what, it, what I like about it. It's going to be challenging. It's going to be something new for me to learn. And, uh, and I'm excited about it. But one of the things that I wanted to do once I get these pieces is I want to be able to preserve them so that they don't get damaged any further than where they're at when I, when I find them, right? Uh, and so that way when my kids get them, they can do with what they want to once, you know, I'm gone or, you know, they can figure it out at that point. Hopefully they can, they can fetch them some good money back at that point in time, maybe buy them a car or something. <laughs> Who knows? Um, but, you know, I want something that I can pass on to them for them to remember me by, right? Uh, so... As luck would have it, in my area is a company called Collector Archive Services, or CAS, and they do just that. They grade collectibles, all kinds of collectibles, not just toys. They could do sports memorabilia, uh, sneakers. They could do all kinds of stuff, all right? And for my, in my case, toys is the big thing. So I have only two vintage collectible figures, you know, vintage collection figures uh, that I received with the Razor Crest that I got recently, which was a Grogu and a Jawa. And I figured I want to take it over there, get it graded, see what the process is like, and then let you guys know what the pros and cons of this are. So this past week, I went back and I picked them up. I got them right here with me. So here's the uh, Grogu and here is the Jawa. And I got to say, really, I'm really impressed with the way this looks. This looks freaking fantastic as a display piece. Um, and... I wanted to share with you guys what my thoughts are on this process, the pros and cons about doing something like this. And, you know, you can make a decision if it's worth it to you. All right, all right. So here is the Grogu. This is the one that got the better grade. This one got a 95. Actually says a 97.1. So here is the case of it. Looks really cool. They did a nice clean job. Love the way, that, the way this looks after it's done. This is really, really cool. All right. So... The pros and cons of this, right? The, I think as far as negatives for doing something like this, there's not many. I, there's only, only one that I can think of anyway is that you won't be able to play with your toy, okay? Um, or, you know, anything that you put in. You won't be able to handle it anymore. So if that's not something you want to do, then don't do this. <laughs> but yes, if it's something that you want to keep, you know, for a lifetime, then obviously getting it encased in something like this is, is a really cool idea. Uh, the pros. Preservation of your piece, I think, is the most important thing, right? So if you're getting something that is like a signed football or, or um, you know, a signed, signed anything, something that has a signature on it especially, um, or, you know, you want to preserve your toy, something that you want to hand down, like what I'm thinking about doing, um, you want to be able to preserve it in its best shape possible, right? And that's what this does. This allows you to encase your item in like a time capsule almost, in, you know, where it's at right now, you know, and I think that's awesome. You know, it's because my kids will have it and they could say, hey, you know, that he got this done on this date. This is my, this was my father's. That was, that's really what I am looking forward to uh, my kids getting to experience once they get uh, something like this, you know. So I think that's the biggest thing. You know that it's it preserved. You know that, there, you know, nothing will uh, damage it unless, you know, obviously you manage to find a way to break through this really hard case. <laughs> But uh, yes, preservation, I think, is probably the best thing. Another cool thing about this is the presentation of your piece. If you want to take and display this on your shelf, uh, like especially like if you have like something that's signed, like a signed basketball or football or something like that, you know, you want to put it up on, on your shelf, 
having it encased in something like this makes for one hell of a presentation piece in my opinion. Um, I think CAS does a great job about making sure that the item has a nice display ability to it, nice display ability to the, to the look of it. Just like when you see this figure, nothing is obstructing the view uh, of it. You can see the, the figure clearly. You know, you can see the back of the card clearly, which is great. And you can see the grading, you know, clearly as well. So I think that's really well done. Each one of these cases are handmade from what they told me. Uh, and they're, they're made to the item that you give them. So I think that's also really cool that each one of these are, are hand, hand done. And it's not just something that they, they buy. So really, really cool. The last thing that I think is a really, you know, good feature or good, good option or, or good uh, uh, positive about doing this is the value of your item uh, or perceived value of the item. Obviously, putting it inside of a case like this doesn't guarantee you that your item is going to, you know, shoot rocket into, you know, the stratosphere as far as uh, the value of your item. You know, obviously, this Grogu is now, you know, not going to be worth $100,000 just because it's inside of a box, right? Um, but what it does do is it does have a better perceived value, in my opinion. If I have the figure that's not carded, you know, and I have one that is, you know, fully uh, graded and inside of this case, this looks better. This, you know, guarantees me that the item is in as best shape as possible. So at least when I see it like this, I know what I'm buying, you know, versus something that is not. And then, you know, you don't know what you got. So that that's uh, that's. The one thing that I think that this does help if you ever decide to take and pass the piece on to somebody else, you know, you have that perceived value by doing something like this. And I think CAS does a really, really good job. They got great customer service. Uh, you know, the guy that I spoke to over there was super cool. Uh, they got rush delivery available for you if that's what you want to do, or you can take and uh, do it, you know, the normal way. And it takes, you know, some time to really get back your piece. Uh, but they do handle everything with care, and I think they do a great job. So that's my thoughts on this. Um, you know, I will need some help hunting down these vintage pieces and understanding it and pricing it and things like that. So if it's something that you guys are very familiar with and you want to help the Medina Lorian out, I would greatly appreciate it because this is uncharted territory for me, like I said, and I absolutely need your help to be able to do something like this. So I'd really appreciate that. If you guys can hit me up, I'm willing, you know, I, I'm open to all kinds of advice right now. So I really appreciate you guys for hanging out with me. I hope this was informative for you guys and, you know, helped you make a decision if you were looking to get yourself a, a graded piece. Definitely, I highly recommend checking out CAS. All right, guys. I'll see you guys next time. And until then, may the force be with you.